Good afternoon and welcome to New York State Bridge Authority meeting. But before we start our monthly meeting, we are going to do our finance committee and our government committee meetings. Uh, first, the uh, chairman, Mr. Dressel, on our finance committee. We finally adopt the minutes of the April 17, 2014 meeting. Yeah, okay, that's one thing on the agenda. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, and the next one, of course, the um, second on agenda is the review of the annual report of the committee's activities, of which we are required by our policy to have four finance committee meetings. And we yeah. had one on March 20th, we had one on April 17th, one on April 18th, and we're having this uh, short one today, uh, which meets our requirement. Maybe. Do I say, what, what else is there to add, Brian? Uh, more or less, we concluded uh, through the review of our business financial plan, there was no further financing required. Our uh, business and financial plan uh, confirms that we're in compliance with the bond resolution. Uh, we worked successfully together with the audit committee in uh, reviewing various items that had come up during the year, have reviewed the charter and, and made sure that it didn't require amendment for the year. And this document or that you're reviewing confirms we've evaluated the performance of the Finance Committee for the year. Any other comments on the uh, Finance Committee meeting? I hope I make a motion to so move. Yep. Second. Okay. Yeah. Any other new oh, I'll get a take other a vote. business? Take a vote, Brian. No, okay. Waiting for adjourn. Who's oh, you got to take a vote on? Oh, uh, oh, to approve right, to approve the uh, report. Yeah. Oh, call in favor. Aye. Opposed. Okay. So, any other business for the finance? Move to adjourn. Second. Call in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay, Thank you, Rod. Next, we have our uh, governor's committee oh, meeting. Mr. Mr. It's audit committee. You can do audit next. Mr. Bush. Is there a motion to adopt the minutes of the September 18th meeting of the Audit Committee? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Minutes are passed. Uh, everyone received the annual report on committee activities. Uh, everybody have an opportunity to review that report? Motion to accept it? Motion to accept. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Is there any other business? Move to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Next is Governments Committee. Uh, adopt the minutes of the February 20th, 2014 meeting. So moved. Second. Second. Uh, you're not on the committee, Mr. Higgins. Second. Who's speaking for me? That's my proxy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we were stumbling a little bit over there. I don't know. <laughs> You'd be like this. We're a very good team together, gentlemen. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. 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 Second, authorize the annual confidential survey of commissioner regarding the board performance. Move. Second. 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 Mr. Blue, do you want to make a comment about it? No, it's the same um, same survey that we do annually to report on board performance. Um, it is confidential. It'll be returned to me, and I'll report the results to the board um, in January. Any other discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. aye. Third, review of government's committee charter and authority's mission statement performance measures. We recommend it. Oh, no change. Move first. Move first. Roger. So vote. Second. 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 Yeah, we recommend no changes um, this year to either the charter or the um, mission statement. Any other discussion? Roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Fourth, review annual report of government's committee. Move. Second. 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 Tip. Any questions? If not, roll we'll call on that. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any other business? Move to adjourn. No. Second. Oh, one, 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 yes, go on. one comment. I want to I very much want to express our our appreciation to our to our uh, support staff for providing the, the reports and uh, typing them up, getting them ready for 
presentation. Why are you looking over there? You look on this side. <laughs> 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 All around. All right. We'll accept All right, for the committee. Mm -hmm. All right. And if not, adjourn. Mm -hmm. We'll adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Next, we'll start our um, uh, um, amended board meeting agenda for December 18th. Mm -hmm. uh, on my left here, we have Commissioner Rod Gressel. We have our other commissioner, Vane Lashua. We have our assist, um, hold on, vice executive, <laughs> deputy <laughs> executive director. <laughs> so, <laughs> it should be like this. <laughs> I suggested that, but John didn't think it was appropriate. <laughs> I have no problem. He said put on your forehead. But, we have our commissioner, Roger Higgins. Higgins, other commissioner, Joseph Fumagaya, our council, Paul Lipback, and our executive director, Joe Ruggiero, and myself as chairman, Richard Jarrington. In saying all that, I'd like to adopt the regular board minutes of November 20th, 2014. So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. Aye. Our administration. Mr. Russo. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm well. In a good mood? This board I'm seems to be like it is. In a very good mood. Um, the first item under administration is uh, that we received a formal a renewal agreement from the CSEA Employee Benefit Fund for the provision of our uh, dental and vision benefits for our employees. And uh, the term of this agreement uh, coincides with the dates of the collective bargaining agreement. So it actually is retroactive back to April 1, 2012. Uh, the agreement's been reviewed by Carl Whitbeck's office, and uh, we're just asking you to authorize Joe to execute it. So moved. Second. Any discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Next. Thank you. Uh, the second item, um, you should have a, a new version of this that was updated today in view of the fact that uh, OGS released uh, an award for unleaded gasoline in addition to what we had provided in your packet, which was uh, the awards for diesel fuel and, uh, and heating uh, fuel oil. Um, and uh, as you can see in the memo, um, Heritage Energy out of Lake Katrine was awarded the diesel fuel contract uh, through November of 2016 for all facilities. Uh, Global Montello uh, was awarded um, unleaded gas for all the facilities and uh, heating fuel for the Bear Mountain uh, Bridge location and then Morgan fuel out of Wappagers Falls for uh, Mid-Hudson and Newburgh. Uh, there's only three facilities that continue to use uh, heating uh, fuel oil in a restaurant natural gas. So <coughs> as we have done in the past, you know, the, the authority enjoys uh, the volume discount that all of the state agencies uh, are able to obtain uh, through use of the OGS contract, and so we're asking that you uh, authorize us to use those contracts during those uh, terms. Uh, it's a two-year term for fuel oil and diesel, and a one-year term for unleaded gasoline at the daily uh, calculated prices, uh, which are uh, provided to us. Uh, uh, Morgan is part of the Teenies Corporation? I think so, yeah. Yep. So we'll Second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you, Robert. Next. Okay, thank you. Jeff, engineering. Good afternoon. How are you? Very good. All right, first up is to increase our standby readiness uh, contract with Hudson Valley Bridge. Uh, at the, their three year contract started out with $494,000 the board approved in January of 2013. We spent $368,000 that year for repairing the Newburgh Beacon uh, North bridge deck along with a hundred some thousand dollars uh, for Kingston Rhinecliffe bridge repairs. Then the board uh, approved an increase to the contract of $250,000 in uh, November of 2013. And since then, in 2014, we spent $266,000, again, repairing the Newburgh Beacon North span deck so that uh, we can get through to the 
eventual deck replacement, which is scheduled in 2019. Uh, we've used up all those funds, uh, $7,000 remain, so we're asking for another $250,000 um, to ho hopefully get us through the 2015 uh, year. <coughs> so we'll check it. Any discussion? Jeff, we, you're saying it's 2015 budget, correct? Right? Correct. All right. Are we had it appropriated into the It's in the capital program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 This is an ongoing contract. I understand. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Job progress summary, uh, two main jobs we have, uh, well, one is still ongoing. The redecking on the Newburgh South Span is uh, still scheduled to be completed by the end of 2015. Um, there, right now, the, the south two lanes have been completed on the main structure. Uh, they've completed about a third of the panels uh, installed on the north uh, two lanes. Um, and hopefully by the middle, well, early next year, the middle of next year, they'll be done installing the main, main span panels and we'll complete the girder span to be done by the end of the year. Uh, the painting contract on the north span was just completed, uh, so, so we we're, we're completed that project. Those are the main projects that are ongoing right now. Any discussion? Moved by Hope Roger. Move to accept the jobs and progress report. Thank, Thank you. you. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Yep. Financial, Brian. Okay. Uh, first up is the investment report. For the month of November, there were four investments, uh, the routine debt service, two to the maintenance, one to construction. They're reflected in the investment inventory. It's currently sitting at uh, 53 and a half uh, million in maintenance and construction. We anticipate completing uh, expenditures from bond proceeds at this time in February of next year. Um, investment yields uh, stayed static month to month, 0.4%. Uh, Move to accept the investment report. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, next up is Bridge Property Insurance. In 2011, we went out the door with an RFP. We first received a three-year uh, proposal that kept rates the same. Obviously, the premium increases with increases in values of the bridges. Uh, we kept that. We renewed uh, for uh, the fourth year. Well, we're trying to renew for the fourth year now, and they offered an option of an extension uh, to make it a full five-year contract. The premium they're quoting is 836, 916,000, which is down from the 871,000 last year by 34,283, a 3.9% decrease, uh, which is helpful considering the bridge, the insurable values increased by 1.93%. So move. Second. 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 Discussion. Roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, last up, on an annual basis, we're required under our regs to renew the Easy Pass discount for the toll system. Uh, when we put in the last toll increase and created a differential between Easy Pass and cash, uh, we required that annually the board would review that discount structure based on our 2015 to 2018 business budget and financial plan. Uh, we do not require uh, the incremental revenue from the Easy Pass discounts, and this rolls the Easy Pass discounts until December 31, 2015. Okay. Yeah, does that um, does that discount impact? Uh, could could we? Is there any way to recover anything from that uh, to reduce costs? By if you were to eliminate the discount, obviously the additional revenue would come in. But I don't know right. what well, you mean by reducing costs. I, what, actually, what I was. What's your opinion about its? Uh, well, impact on our budget. That's all. Well, the Easy Pass discount is, is, for example, the cash differential that we have a dollar fifty for passenger car versus a dollar twenty-five, and it actually helped. Plus the commuter discount plan, it's actually helpful in that it it, it basically improves our traffic flow with utilization and of Easy Pass and yeah. and reduces. Right, don't, since we've gone to a differential between the two prices, we've increased our market share of the Easy Pass transactions on our facilities. Which then, when we first, prior to the toll structure, we were in the mid 50s for some of the bridges in terms of easy pass uses. Now we're up into the 60s, and even Bear Mount, we're close to 70%. Mm -hmm. 
the, there's a point in time in the future where we're required to transition the all electronic bowl um, easy pass penetration market share is a critical component of that. So, and right now, uh, as in the report in a while, our revenues are slightly up 10 percent on target to where they were a year ago. So there's not been a dramatic drop off in revenue where the board needs to do a what I would call a premature um, revenue enhancement prior to the 2018 budget cycle. And this was a, I would say, the fail safe way of doing it if we had to, but we're okay. Didn't want to. Nope. Happy to answer your question. Any other discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. Next. Nancy, with the human resources. Um, I have before you a resolution for your consideration to award the Employee Assistance Program, the AP contact, to the workplace for a period of one year um, with an understanding that allows both of us, both parties, to extend the agreement for three additional years, which would bring us to the end of 2018, yeah. subject to annual review. Mm -hmm. Typically, a dollar amount like this wouldn't come to the board because it has a three-year option. We're, we're considering it a award of 15000 which would then exceed my authority to sign. So we're taking it to you just as a, we don't need some audit, we can do a gotcha on it. So, you can have a few votes. So moved. Second. Good discussion. Roll call. All in favor say aye. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Next, Wayne. Afternoon. Uh, three items today. First one is uh, Armored Courier Service. In 2012, we signed a three-year agreement with Titan Armored Car of uh, Newburgh, New York, to transport the funds collected at Five Bridges to the bank. Uh, that contract had the option to renew for two additional one-year periods. Uh, 2015 would be the first year of those two years. Uh, they're keeping the price the same. They uh, have the right to uh, increase if their uh, insurance and fuel costs exceed 15 percent per year. Um, currently, we're paying a little bit more than this cost due to their increased fuel costs. Uh, hopefully, in 2015, it will decrease a little bit uh, as the price of fuel drops. So, I'd like your approval to continue doing business with them for another some, year. Some of that. Uh, discussion. Roll call. All the bears aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, Mid Hudson Bridge Traffic Control. We currently employ the state police for four hours a day to uh, provide a enhanced safety patrol, if you will, at the Mid Hudson Bridge during the uh, cone periods when we operate three lanes on the Mid Hudson Bridge. Uh, this year, we expect to uh, pay them approximately eighty-six thousand uh, dollars. That's in the operating budget, and uh, next year, accounting for a uh, approximate eight percent increase. We haven't had one in ten years. Um, I'd like you to approve ninety-six thousand dollars to pay for that service. So moved. Second. Is that the soft end bag? What's lobby? That? That's the bag lobby, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> they wanted to work color. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Third is our uh, third quarter 2014 Easy Pass expenses payable to the Thruway Authority. Uh, Mike and I looked over that invoice and uh, we found no anomalies. And uh, that is for $1,022,359.97. Move to pay the Thruway Authority. Exactly. They need all the money they can get. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? Now uh, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. One I was just going to ask about what about state police coverage of the, the Newburgh Bridge? Uh, we don't pay for that. They uh, come around when they can. We uh, ask them sometimes for some increased patrols, and they usually uh, are very. Okay. They work with our security coordinators, yeah. especially around certain holidays and other opportune times. They feel it's beneficial to enhance police patrols. We don't pay for that. Are they out of the right. out of Newburgh or Stormville? Yeah. Where are they? Oh. Yeah, yeah. depending yeah. on which region. Yeah. Guys from Mid Hudson are strictly out of Highland, and we pay them yeah. to right. be here. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Next, the report. Um, the expense reports, and I have none to report. Um, you have your traffic and revenue analysis report by, prepared by Dan Passes. Just a brief summary. Year-to-date Easy Pass sales are around 7,200. 
that's down below last year's 10,348. Uh, I think we're getting to a saturation point with our easy pass. We're still doing very strong, but it's not like the first year when we really had a huge increase. As I mentioned earlier, um, revenue is fairly up uh, year to date for our facilities. It's up a uh, tenth of a percent, and revenue is up about 16th of a percent. Um, so we're gonna, we look like we should be on on target to meet budget for this year, and we still continue to see a revenue recovered through the treadle modified uh, enhancement to our tone plaza. We're up to about 353,000 for the year, which is a significant number, which has helped us maintain a flat revenue stream. So had we not had it, we actually might have a slight increase in revenue per year. And uh, that's all I have to report. Probably with the price of fuel going down, I would anticipate you should see it increase. You're going to see people traveling more. The biggest challenge we have is the slight de the decrease in commercial traffic and the uh, disproportionate amount that it hits with that traffic winding up on the revenue side. If that goes down slightly, there's this exponential effect of revenue. So hopefully we'll make it up. And then you have the annual committee reports that um, you, or the subcommittees reported that we need to adopt as the whole board. So we move, can we move that please? Yep, so right move. Second. Second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> All right. Any presentations to the board? Old business, new business, any client privilege? Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's nothing. Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. Uh, just the next meeting is January 15th in the new year, 2015. Everyone have a happy holidays and happy new year. Thank you very much. Thank you.